Sup, band! Good day, gamers. A formal bust here with Elden Ring, a first impression. But first, we have our sponsor, good old H2O. Drink it up or die. <clears throat> oh, delectable water. All right. Let's get right into it, gamers. Elden Ring was released in February of 2022, developed by FromSoft Incorporated, and published by FromSoft Incorporated and Bandai Namco Entertainment. It's described on Steam as the new fantasy RPG. And there's just a period at the end of that full cap sentence. Okay. Rise tarnished and be guided by grace to brandish the power of the Elden Ring and become an Elden Lord in the lands between. Bit of a run-on sentence there, but that's fine. It's tagged on Steam as, get this, a Souls-like game. Yes, this is a Souls-like game, gamers. Oh my god, who would have thought? Also tagged as Dark Fantasy, RPG, and 3D. Its full list price on uh, Steam is $59.99 USD. United States dollars, um, at this point, uh, no DLC, there's a deluxe edition, yada yada yada, whatever. Not entirely sure, um, if there's a DLC for this or not, but we'll see. Okay, main menu. New game, log in, because I am offline for obvious reasons. I don't want this first impression to deal with the multiplayer or co-op or anything, but it exists, so it's still there. Um, and we'll get into it in the system stuff. So, yeah, new game, quick game, login, system. System! Um, I believe pretty much everything's standard. I left, yeah, controller vibration. I turned way down, auto target, manual attack aiming. This is nice, because you can now manual target with aiming of large weapons when locked on. That's nice. Um, let's see, what else we got? Camera axes, reset camera Y axis, camera speed, bumped it up a little. Uh, actually, seven. Uh, camera walk, uh, auto wall recovery. Some people hate this. I kind of like it. Um, your mileage may vary. Cinematic effects. Yeah, I'll keep that sure. Uh, display blood. Yes. Subtitles. Yes. HUD. Always on. Uh, it comes auto. The, the standard's auto, but I kept it on orange. Show tutorials. Yes. HDR. Yeah, no. Uh, just brightness. Um, just image quality. Need HDR for so. Uh, device on screen prompts, gamepad, keyboard and mouse. Nice to see, you can split back and forth. Some games don't have that, even though they have gamepad um, and keyboard and mouse compatibility. Volume, you get master, music, sound effects, and voice. Gonna leave that as is. Uh, this is what I was talking about with matchmaking. So, cross region play, you have no matchmaking, perform matchmaking, yada yada yada. Okay, it's pretty standard. Send summon sign. Block your summon sign in worlds with adversaries present. Now, this is interesting because you can enable or disable this. Seems pretty interesting to me, especially because part of the whole summon sign thing was, like, you being able to help out players being um, uh, attacked by invaders. I'm going to enable that. Uh, wait. Hmm. Block your summon sign in worlds. Okay. We'll leave that as disabled. Launch settings. Play online. Play offline. Pretty standard. Data usage agreement. Yada, yada, yada. And controller settings. Nice to see all this here. Very good. Oh, I'm sure the tutorial helped me with it. This game notoriously has no curve or whatever. Also, controller key bindings. Yep, nice to see that. You can rebind, I assume? Yeah, you can rebind them, I'm sure. And then screen mode. You got full screen, windowed, borderless window. I'm going to keep mine full screen. Resolution. Now you can auto-detect, but there's plenty of resolutions here to choose from. Nice to see. Auto detect, yep, that's what I got on. Quality settings, um, I have mine. All Changing this, all it will do is change stuff in here. The only thing I have changed, I believe, is motion blur, which goes from off, low, medium, and high. I don't know how you have low, medium, and high motion blur, but whatever. <laughs> I think that's enough about the main menu. Let's get into a new game. Um, there'll probably be plenty of cutscenes, so I'm going to shut up. Oh, nice. Yep, yes, nice. Thank you. Okay, I forgot they did this on the first playthrough, or think think just on the first one. All right, now I'm shutting up. Never mind. Character selection first: vagabond, warrior, hero, bandit, astrologer. Okay, prof. So these are replacing. I guess this is like magic user, and this is like you know. Oh, samurai, 
Weeaboos, weeaboos, be so, be so happy, weebs. There's finally an official samurai starting class. Prisoner, I guess that's the depri- Nope, nope, prisoner's something else. Um, confessor and wretch. So let's see the stats. Wretch is your deprived. Okay, yep. Level one, everything at 10. Confessor, okay, so high mind, high faith, strength and dex are okay. Okay, so they're also another kind of holy warrior. Okay, this is your, this looks like it's your magic user. High dex and uh, intelligence. Uh, samurai, okay, vigor, my, okay, so, they're your, yeah, they're definitely your dex warrior, it would seem, and they have a bow and a katana, oh, excuse me, okay, what do we have here, so, prophet, high faith, followed by mind, I don't know what mind does, I guess, yeah, because mind isn't intelligence, intelligence is a whole, we'll get into the stats and hopefully there'll be a disclaimer, so, prophet, another kind of holy warrior, uh, astrologer, another kind of, I, I assume, a uh, sorceries person. <laughs> oh, actually, you know, the prisoner might be the, uh, oh, uh, what are they? Pyromancer, maybe. We'll get into that. Uh, bandit, uh-huh, nice to see. Just your decks. Just, it's bandit, y'all. It's, it's bandit. Uh, hero, this looks, to me, mostly like your, uh, uh, bers not Berserker. Warrior. Yeah, you you get a big axe. Nice to see. Oh, no, sorry. Warrior. This this is your another dex build. Okay. I'm going to go with Vagabond. I like that helmet. I like that heavy armor. Um, The only thing I dis... Uh, I don't care about... Nope. Arcane's low. Don't care about that. Yep. I'm going to go with Vagabond. Okay. Sure, type B. Name. Formal. Go there. Body. Okay, See, so you can change it either way. Okay. Okay, whatever. Does it even say? Oh, buff and slender. So, go with slender. Age. Um, I'm an undead, y'all. Or a tarnished, I believe. Is that actually... Oh, face lines change, so let's, okay, sure. Okay, Vagabond Keepsake. Crimson Amber Medallion, Medallion with Crimson Amber increasing maximum HP. Temporarily, I assume. Uh, Land Between's Rune, a goal, the gold of grace shining the eyes of the people of the lands between used to gain many runes, which I guess are souls, golden seed. Golden seed washes ashore from lands between, said to reinforce sacred flasks. Oh, that's a that's great. Um, the ashes of small diminutive golems actually said to hold spirits within. Okay, cracked pot. Three strange cracked pots that somehow mend themselves. Container for certain throne. Okay. Stone sword key. Two stone keys shaped like swords. Breaks the seal on imp statues, but can only be used once. So that's some sort of key. Bewitching branch. Five sacred branches charged with beguiling power said to originate from... Okay. <laughs> Witching branches. Boiled prawn. Five pieces of boiled prawn boost physical damage negation. Shabri. Shabriri's. Whoa. The crazed likeness of a noble whose, whose eyes have been gouged out. Tracks enemies' aggression. We know what that is. Okay. Um. Yeah, golden seed. Because sacred flasks. I'm pretty sure I know what that is. Uh, choose base template. Warrior. Truth seeker. Oh, this is going to be grace. The most common face among the tarnished, after all. They were all warriors once. Truth Seeker. Face of an uh, austere, uh, austere pilgrim. There are many roads to truth. Aristocrat, a regal face found among those who claim noble blood in the lands between. Those are your whiteies. Uh, loner. Face found among the proud and seclusive tribe of folk. Well versed in ancient legends and hearsay alike. Northerner, a face found among the hardy people of the Unforgiving North. Some say they're descended from giants. Uh, seafarer, the face of one who wanders the seas in search of their home in the lands between. Reedlander, a face from the faraway isolated land of reeds where blood is a familiar sight. Ooh, that's new. Draconian, uh, the stony face of the people of the ancient dragons. 
among whom life is typically short. Uh, night folk, the features of those known as night folk, few in number, they were said to bleed silver long ago. Newman, the face of the Newman's supposed descendants of din denizens of another world, long lived but seldom born. Uh, we're gonna go with night folk, just because it seems cool. Uh, oh, do I have it? <sighs> Great voice acting, y'all. Oh. Okay, we're not gonna mess with that. Ultra face and hair, though. Shorts, fine. Yeah. You can face bot. You can. Yeah. You can make some real abominations, it looks like, with these sliders, y'all. Don't worry. If you're really loving your giant purple character. Oh, and you can save and load to favorites. Alright, that's cool. Uh-huh, and if I would want to load, there they are right there. Okay, that is very nice to see if you have a preset of, like, exactly, you know, abomination you like. But yeah, sliders here, skin color, you can really make some ugly motherfuckers in this. All right, I think we're ready then. Yeah, okay, thank you. Load screens are brought to you by H2O Gamers. Drink it up. the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the Shard of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion, 
the loathsome Dung Eater. And Sir Gideon Othnir. The All-Knowing. And one other, whom Grace would again bless. A tarnished of no renown. Cross the fog to the lands between. To stand before the Elden Ring. And become the Elden Lord. Okay, yep. <laughs> Seems pretty standard for uh, a Souls-like game. Ooh, you give me a halberd from the beginning? Okay, all right. Stabby stab. Oh boy, you give me a halberd from the beginning. Okay, uh, switch action. Oh, that's nice. Through the, the path uh, be broken and uncertain. Claim your place as Elden. Okay, cool. Now, this switch action is very helpful. <laughs> Tarnish Wizard's Ring, okay. Winnie, wizened, wizened, wizened. Oh, I like that, okay. Um, okay, yep, thank you, thank you. I, this seems pretty straightforward. Memory of Grace, lose all runes, return to, okay, yep. Used to write messages, to, okay, this is your message uh, writing. Equipment. Okay, am I fat rolling? I am so fat rolling. Okay. <laughs> uh oh yeah, 39. So drop the helmet. Um see I'm 49. Come on, I can get away with the gloves, right? The gloves are 3.5, the helmet is 4.0. So, fat rolling, um, poise 11, discovery, ooh, discovery, memory, memory slots. I guess that's like my memory memory. Okay, this is all fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, we'll go with this for now. Okay. You can still roll through furniture, and it seems very similar. Oh, you're some, you know, unknown tarnished this time. Time to go out and kill. Um, nice statue there. Let's get into it then. I got a door to open. Oh, is this a slash stab, or is this a slash? This is a, okay, stab and slash, long sword. All right. I'm not liking the compass. It seems a little obstructive, I guess. A little low. Oh. Sorry, why? Loud doors, y'all. Loud doors. Okay. Oh. Okay. Damn, that's a nice tree. Very bright golden tree. Chapel of Anticipation. So I can go down. What's back this way? Okay, B still run. Okay, I have like a souls counter on the bottom right. Okay. Well, I am sitting at a solid 60 frames and even rolling through crates, which notoriously would crash your FPS in, you know, past games um, before they were patched correctly. Nice to see, 60 FPS. Um, now I will say the cutscenes were at 30 FPS. There's been an issue in past times of um, past Dark Souls games where that causes issues for people. So, just be aware. 30 FPS still in cutscenes. Yes, I, this is how I play. <laughs> I'm liking the look of it. Looks fine. Um, 
I mean, it looks, I, I can't put, it looks about like Dark Souls 3. I'll give it that. It looks a little bit better here in places so far. I mean, the biggest thing about Dark Souls is looking at places that you're not supposed to look at. <laughs> they were very good in past games about, oh, there's, you know, you're not supposed to see this wall, so we did low texture on it, and you're only supposed to see it from far away, but you turned, you know, around and looked at it. Okay. And yes, this is the most important part about Dark Souls games, is finding the... Okay, what is jump? Before I... Oh! Oh! Oh, you have stealth now! So in past Dark Souls games, if you wanted to stealth, you pretty much would have to do an arcane user or wear no armor and very light equipment so that you could actually stealth. But this, this is nice. Okay, so I'm slower, and this has totally got to be a boss dungeon here. Or, yeah, there's a fog wall there, so something's going on. So this is, okay, so this is crouch. All right, I can block, can I, I can parry. Uh, what does B do? Okay, B's back step. X is, I have nothing to use. Okay, what is A? Oh, a is, A is my, oh, are you telling me? Okay, B, A jump is not, that's not too bad. That's not, yeah, that's not too bad. Now, where's my, okay, B's my roll. How do I two-hand? Okay. I'm gonna I need I need to know how to two-hand. Okay, gamers. <laughs> this is my bad. System. How do you two-hand? This is very important. Oh, sorry. Use item, backstep, jump, event, event action, they call it. Attack, strong attack. Move camera, change target, map, switch item, okay. What? Can I not two hand? It seems like, wait. Oh, there it is, okay. Nope, okay, figure it out later. For now, let's just get on with what is most likely a boss coming up, it would feel like. Maybe not, though. <laughs> Don't worry. It's just, it's just Elden Ring. I'm not paranoid. Although, apparently, there are mounts in this game later on, so we'll find that out later. Hey! Hey, where we, where we at? Okay, you are creepy as fuck! Okay, and this shield is pointless against this boss, so... Oh boy, you hit hard. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I have a feeling I'm supposed to die. I have no healing at all. You really, I mean, that'll be an achievement for tryhard gamers, I'm sure, is beating that guy one first time. Okay. So it sounded like we got dumped in water. Or water got dumped on us. Either way. Yeah, here's the real beginning. <laughs> this is a lot more. <laughs> this is a lot more dark, uh, uh, souls-like, you know, kind of intro. Loving the armor, by the way. <gasps> Do they give us the mount from the start? If only. He's got horns. Okay, this mount's great. I'm loving this mount 100%. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on her side. We found her here after all. Not my mount, someone else's mount. One of her kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. 
even if it does violate the Golden Order. Now can I get up? <laughs> Ooh, golden tree there. Very similar to that giant golden tree we saw earlier. Flask of Crimson Tears, that's okay. And then Flask of Cerulean Tears, okay. Okay, nice to see. I I assume jumping's gonna be a lot more important if they took A as the new jumping thing. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> okay. So, holding Y switches up to... Oh, I don't know if I like that. Okay, so, Flask of Crimson Tears and then Cerulean Tears. Okay, nothing down here. Okay. Hey! Ooh. Read message. The Cave of Knowledge... Oh, who are you? Okay. Take the plunge of learning and remembrance. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. Okay, we will probably do that in a second, but I want to know what the hell's up with these trees. Because that big gold one was there earlier, and it's just another small gold one. Okay, cool. Can I open the door, though? So I can open this door, but I can also take the plunge. Okay, what's through here? pile of bones okay we're gonna take that plunge trust me I just want to see okay fog walls touch grave okay this is the resting point then La lost grace discovered rest at sight of grace okay past time okay so time is an important thing in this game now flasks add charge Yes. Yes! Increase amount replenished by flasks. Use a sacred tear- Okay, so, no. Wait, do I have one? Okay, yeah, yeah, I don't have one. Allocate, okay. Yep, thank you. Okay, thank you. Yep, going full health. Yes. Early day. Memorize spells. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't have anything. Okay, so I have two spell slots, no spells. Oh, okay. Get sorting chest from the start. That's good. Okay. Fine by me. And just B is still leave. Okay, cool. Now, what the hell are you? Oh! Stone sword key. Okay, so if we had one of those. Village remain. Oh! Oh! Tarnished Colonel. Uh. Tarnished furled finger to write a gold summon sign. Interesting, they went with gold. <laughs> Cooperative multiplayer will begin once you have been summoned to a player. Take the role of an ally, furled finger. Mike Bump coming in. And your objective is to defeat the bo area boss. The compass on the top screen indicates the direction. Okay. Oh, so south, west, north, east. Okay. Tarnished furled finger. Yeah, screw your jugs. All right, now that we've found a resting place, so I can't go through here. I guess the stone sword thing would open that up if I could have one. I believe it was a stone sword key is what they called it. All right, we're going to take the plunge, see what's going on, because I have a feeling it takes me up to those, maybe. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Um, in the meantime, we need to... There we go. Okay, small drop. Oh. Oh, yeah, accent. Okay, yeah, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. And then... Okay, even that didn't hurt me. Good. Okay. 
I'm sure there's no enemies down here whatsoever. Oh, and there's another thing right here. So I could have just... Oh, okay. So this is the tutorial. Drop down is the tutorial. Touch the grace. If this is the tutorial, I love this then. Because at very beginning of the game gives you an option between tutorial or just screw it, I want the actual game. Oh. Enemy. Hey, that's what I like. That's what I like. Oh. Oh no, it just, yeah. This is the tutorial then. Okay. Fine by me. We're going to be a bit of tutorialing. And I'm loving the halberd because it is OP. Oh, guarding. Okay, I know how to guard. Thank you. Okay, yeah, we know how to dodge. This tutorial, I guess once you choose it, they're like, oh yeah, oh, jump. Yep, jumps, jumps are important, gamers. Oh, boy. Oh, lock-on is quite well-ranged. Acquire materials. In every corner of the lands between, you will find fruits and flowers, mushrooms and butterflies, and various other useful materials. He's, okay, so there's crafting in the game, gamers. Dark Souls finally has crafting. Not finally, but, you know. Okay, I, yep, don't shoot me. I want your shield, boy. Wielding our, okay. Ooh, okay, so that's how I two hand. Okay, so you hold Y and then whichever side you want to two hand, you two hand that. I'm loving this guy's set. I'm gonna have to probably get it at some point. Oh, come on. Are you telling me circle strafing isn't as OP as it used to be? Nope, it is. I just have to go... Yep. Go toward the weapon, not the shield. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yes, gamers. The AI in this game are flawless. Oh, come on. Yeah! There we go. You can still backstab fish, gamers, and please drop some of your equipment. Nope, nope. I do like his equipment, though. I will have to probably inquire. It's probably some shit equipment, actually. <laughs> he is in the starting tutorial area, so. Oh, boy, finally multiple enemies. Let's go. Does, okay, that auto-lock didn't auto-lock, but alas, it's fine. I'm used to it, okay. Hey, now we're up here with this guy. Okay. Fine by me. Oh, you actually have some health on you, like the other guy did. Yeah, you got the heraldry too. Okay. Yeah, loving the range of the halberd. Actually, now that I know how to two-hand. Let's see, is that is it? Okay, so. R1. Oh, L1. R2. L2. No, it's a charge. Okay. Notoriously, the red halberd at one point did have a... Uh, it had a spinning death attack. And they might have that weapon as another halberd-like weapon in this game. But you would just spin and spin and spin. I think you had like two full 360s and would just decimate the enemies. Um. Okay. Let's use a skill here. Oh. Of course. My skill with the shield is dodge. All right. Now, okay, yeah, a little off balance there, not fully. All right. Crouching, okay. Let's see how effective this is at stealthing. Okay. All right, stealth is a much more legitimate, and I assume, okay, you can definitely see where uh, Sekiro influence this game very much we have bushes in the game now that you can actually hide in okay yeah definitely definitely drawing on some Sekiro vibes here y'all definitely oh okay so I've got just okay water and graves it would seem stance breaking holds RT charge attack RT while jumping. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. So your charge attack can put them off balance, which then allows you to get a... Stakes of Mari Marika. Upon dying, you will be revived at the last site of grace that you visited. However, if there is a stake of Marika near where you died, you can... Ch okay, cool. Now, can I do anything here? Okay, I can't do anything here. And this is obviously a boss arena. Okay. Alright, that's... I do like that. Because Dark Souls 2 had a habit of having horrendous... And I'm talking about horrendous placement of... Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. He's only got a couple hundred health. Okay, he's not that big of a boss. He's like a mini boss. Enemy felled. Enemy felled. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm liking that. All right. He didn't drop a soul. I didn't get anything to pick up off of him, which is disappointing. So, he's a mini boss. I would guess. Still fogged wall, uh, uh, fog walls, but I was not able to, uh, didn't get much. What, what is this though? What do I get for doing the tutorial? Pillage remains, Shh, okay. I get a pose and I still didn't go up over there where that item is, so interesting. And I don't think, I'm not gonna item hunt. We're like 30 minutes into this, I'll just, yep. Yep, that's a tutorial for y'all gamers. It's nice. It's got a mini boss in there, not a full boss. Nice to see and goes over how to do everything. Okay. Don't need to rest. Let me just move on. And now I need to not hunt for fog walls. All right, we're in. <gasps> elevators, gamers. Oh boy, this game in elevators. All right, is there anything off shooting? Nope, just an elevator, I'm sure. Classic. Classic elevator. Okay, coming up from underground, maybe? Nope. Well, we might be out from underground. All right. Oh. Yeah, I can destroy candles. All right. Okay. Big urns. Ooh, boy. And big door. Oh. Okay. Just. All right. Physics. Whatever. Ooh. Limgrave, okay. All right, that's the tree. So, oh man, I didn't see where we were in relation to the tree earlier. I think though, up there might be where we were. Either that or that, I don't know. But, so we can still see the tree. So we're in relation to the tree still. So you can map your way that way. And we seem pretty open map here. This is a, uh, Okay, this is very open map compared to, please don't be an enemy, be someone I can talk to. Okay. So, touch grace, we got a new grace here. That is a big honking, okay, guidance. Oh, grace exists to guide the tarnished and lead them along the proper path. Even now, some sites of grace retain that power. Their golden rays will guide you along. Okay. So I need to generally head in that direction. Oh. We have a map, gamers! There is a map in a Souls game. Use your map to check your current position as well as the terrain and sounding surrounding structures. You can update your map with new information by finding map fragments at steels along the way. You can also use the map to freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks. Okay, so map. With the map, you can check. Okay, all right, yep. Lastly, through your map, you may select any site of grace that you've discovered and travel there instantaneously. However, there are some dungeons and other areas where this cannot be. Okay, so there's dungeons and sites of grace. So first step, stranded graveyard, cave of knowledge, and my streak is telling me to go in this direction, and mm, this is a small map, but from the fact that I can zoom out this far, okay. All right, very good, back. All right, that's fine. And you are friendly? Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated 
it seems, to die in obscurity. Okay. Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless. Me, Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace? The golden light that gives life to you tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace. A path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Hmm. Grace's guidance will rule the castle Stormvale. Over on the cliff. So Stormvale's the up there. Home of the decrepit demigod, Godric the Drafted. It's time to castle storm if okay. you seek the Alright. So that tells me where to go, but we're now in an open world game, gamers, so I'm not gonna fool around too much with that yet. Um also seeing as how I don't have a lot of time left. What are you? Okay, so they are enemies. I can fight them and kill them. Oh! Oh boy, this place just opens up the more I look around, doesn't it? <clears throat> of course it does. They did say we'd get an open world game. Oh. Okay, so there's wildlife now that aren't just things trying to kill you, which is interesting. Skull, are you... Yep, you're roll crushable. Okay. So, I can definitely... Oh, gosh. Those things look not fun. Flying enemies. Okay. Now it appears I can get down there from these rocks. Okay, gosh. All right. Oh! Okay, so... Pick up item. Golden rune. Oh, gosh. What do golden runes do? Use gain a small number of runes. Okay. So, oh, there's another one. It would seem. Examine. Summoning pools. In each area, you may find effigies of martyrs. These effigies are summoning pools. You'll find it easy to summon other players at these locations as co-op hostile and hostile summoning signs created within small effigies gather at summoning pools. Okay. Small golden effigy. Okay. Now, I would be remiss to end this video without... Oh, sorry. Sorry. M this The materials is what's going to kill me in this game. I'd be remiss not to take on the biggest baddie on a horse here. So, let's go, boy. Oh, my God, horse. Or, dang. Oh, gosh. You hit hard, don't you? Tree Sentinel? Oh boy, he's got health for days, gamers. Oh ho ho! Oh, I'm stuck on something. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Fighting a boss. I mean, he's not even a boss, but he's got a shitload of health. Tree Sentinel. Okay. Man, mounted combat's gonna be wonk. <laughs> Shit. Uh, guidance of Grace. Grace exists. Okay, yeah. So, Grace will tell me where to go, but... Oh, death. Upon dying, you will be arrived at the last site of grace that you visited. You'll drop any runes in your possession at the site of your death. If you die again before reclaiming... Okay. Come to the top. Okay. So, indicates where I lost my runes, which would be right there. Which I could theoretically, I believe, get if I snuck around that guy without aggroing him. Oh, boy, gamers. This is a lot. <laughs> this is a whole lot. Um, yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a whole thing, isn't it? This game. Okay. 
I'm gonna leave it right here, gamers. So far, the game looks great. It's a whole different kind of Souls game, as you can tell. It's open world with, I believe, like it said, dungeons, uh, and I believe that being your first starter dungeon, which one point statue there on the starter dungeon. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting game to see how it plays out and what all happens, especially if this is, I mean, God, this is probably the first fucking area and I have to get up there and defeat a guy in that castle. But I mean, I can see a little, like, I can see how expansive this map is just in this starting area and this is going to be crazy and I have to kill that guy and it's Dark Souls plus open world maps. Completionists and lore seekers are going to, I assume, eat their hearts out. And it looks like it runs fine, so check out Elden Ring if you are if you love Dark Souls and apparently open world gaming with Dark Souls. Gonna be interesting. Uh, yep, like I said, I'm gonna leave it right here, gamers. Thank you for watching. Feel free to do the stuff. I've been a formal bust. Until next time, take care and drink some H2O.